Okay guys, so loads of things happening inside of Helldivers 2 today. One of the developers in the Discord have reinforced the reasoning behind these slugger nerfs. We've also had the CEO of Arrowhead respond with regards to something we commented on yesterday. There is apparently 16 Illuminate kills that have happened and we've got loads of changes that have happened inside of the game that you were yet to even know about. So with that being said, if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming yes that's right we made it rhyme not only that but if you go down to the description right now click the link and use code cloud plays at checkout it will get you a cheeky discount with that being said let's dive on in to today's video Okay, so literally as I was rendering out this video, we had another update coming from the Helldivers team at Arrowhead that have managed to cause another support set for incoming. This one right here is a very, very small patch update that is addition to yesterday's big patch update. They seem to have fixed a specific problem that you guys may be walking into. This one is quite a simple one and a very small one indeed. And it states right here, good day, hot fix for crash introduced in yesterday's rollout, carrying on liberating soldiers. They fix for a common crash which occurred when accessing the acquisitions menu. This one's a really, really simple one, but nonetheless, we had to bring it to your faces before we get into the rest of the video, as it's literally just dropped, so... Update inbound, boys and girls. Let's get into it. So starting off, we had a topic, a conversation yesterday with regards to Stephen Spoon. And this guy was a guy who had some issues with his infrared hat and the relay movements between him and the game. And it wasn't working, mainly because of the program input was being blocked by Helldivers 2. The Arrowhead CEO himself actually responded to this tweet and stated, I will look into this, but I need to know what software you use. Also, so Arrowhead GS and Helldivers and then very quickly reiterated with another tweet stating also don't you love it when you've become so used to autocorrect that you don't even check it I mean at Helldivers too <laughs> we absolutely love this and the fact that he's actually taken a look into this for this guy is absolutely huge hopefully Steven you managed to get your fixes made so that you can actually use that infrared hat to relay the movements and become a Helldiver just like the rest of us I'm excited to see you in game and hopefully Mr. Johan can get that one sorted for you. Now, one of the changes that were made inside of the game just yesterday was a ginormous nerf to the slugger. Now, according to a developer on Discord, the slugger was nerfed because it was hands down the best sniper rifle in the game. Then why nerf the stacker? just instead nerf the damage you drop off well he, we actually have a reddit post right here with over six and a half thousand upvotes stating i think we can all agree that a shotgun definitely shouldn't work as a sniper rifle and even more than that it shouldn't be the best one but why does that necessarily nerfing the stagger and demolition traits associated with shotguns over drop off accuracy over range and projectile trajectory it simply doesn't make sense and it doesn't even solve the problem it is supposed to you still can snipe with the slugger but you lose the utility a powerful shotgun is supposed to offer now it actually states right here that alexis the ses bringer of balance who is a developer for arrowhead stated that is incorrect Pick rate wasn't the reason for the Slugger nerf. The truth is Slugger was just hands down the best sniper rifle out there, which is not fitting for, you know, a shotgun. And this one is a very, very skeptical topic to say the least, and one I really want to get your guys' opinions on. Were you using the Slugger beforehand? Have you used the Slugger since? And do you think that it's impacted it in more of a negative route for a shotgun rather than an actual sniper rifle, which we were all evidently using it for? Moving on though, we did announce yesterday that we have got a raised new level cap, which is now at 150 with a whole new array of titles. Now, somebody's actually gone through and they've got all of the new rank slash titles in the most recent update with Fleet Admiral, Admirer, Ball Admiral, Commander, Galactic Commander, Hell Commander, General, 5 Star General, 10 Star General, Private and Super Private, all running up to level 150. That's a big old jump with an extra 100 levels 
this is a very very cool one and hopefully we just see more of this come into play the best thing about this game is that they don't actually state a lot of this stuff so a lot of the fun of it is trying to figure out what's changed where it's changed what's happening and where it's all going and this is something which i absolutely love mainly because i just like the mystery of it all and i think that you guys quite enjoy being able to jump in and find out what it is that's happened on top of the numeric changes which they change and obviously announce now before we get into the next topic we are doing a giveaway for a copy of helldivers 2 and if you've already got the game don't worry we're giving you the money equivalent in super credits nice and simple nice and easy and all you have to do is go down into the comment section and comment a black and a yellow heart for Helldivers alike. We are getting so close to liberating and winning this galactic war that I feel like we need a little bit of Helldiver spirit in the comment section. So a black heart and a yellow heart to enter into the giveaway and we'll announce it this weekend for the community page and the Discord, which is closer to 10,000 large. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for your support, but let's dive on in to the rest of the video. Now, there is a Reddit post that has gone up where there are 16 confirmed Illuminate kills on Super Earth of which I'm extremely confused about because this screenshot right here does show the soul system and it shows that there's 1547 people on there now for a lot of you guys who were confused because you come into the reddit or onto our discord all the time and post up how the hell is this happening this is essentially where the main training base is so for new hell divers is where they go first and when you do start off the game sometimes you will find that you are above the soul system when you actually start the game before you go in towards your next planet now looking at this right here though we can see quite clearly that there are zero terminated kills zero automaton kills but 16 illuminate kills and zero friendly kills this one is a strange one and i really don't understand how it's happening what's going on but it should mean that the illuminate should be with us maybe over the next month or so i'm hoping that this is a change that comes very soon mainly because i'm just so excited to get in there and see what it looks like with all of these textured shaders that we've had over recent weeks these new illuminate enemy sorts look bloody interesting another change that we've seen into the game right now is resource to the railgun where we now have a new charge meter next to the scope which is a pretty cool little feature I'm liking the fact that they have just adding these additionals and changing some little niggly bits that we were not overly happy with or things that you would kind of necessarily need now obviously if you want to get those accurate shots off with the railgun having the actual meters down the barrel probably isn't that helpful considering you're trying to focus on where the target is via the reticle above so having a meter right next to the reticle means that you guys can really focus on getting that that perfect shot as close to the maximum strength shot on the railgun as you can that should give you guys a bit more of an advantage when it comes to using this weapon in the future and a reddit post that i loved actually did love and i didn't even know this was a change in here and we're still finding more which is baffling to say the least from one small quote unquote update but we've got right here i like the new crayons and yes that's right we've now managed to get a shed ton more of new missiles going in for the CFs is absolutely amazing and for those of you guys who don't know what they are going from left to right we have blue which is the static field the black is the mini nuke the green is the napalm orange is the high yield explosive and the red is the standard explosive these are pretty damn cool and I know a lot of you guys are going to be going straight for those black ones trying to get those mini nukes rolling in play it's so much fun especially when we have these things come up and the changes that get implemented through the main process overall though these changes seem to be making a positive roundup inside of the helldivers 2 community although the update hasn't seemed to have increased the community 24-hour peak on steam just yet it is neither here nor there the community is still holding strong with around a quarter of a million players in the last 24 hours still a fantastic number and an incredible outcome for a game i'm really really impressed to see how this one can go forward and where we take this over oncoming weeks because the 
these updates just seem to make the game better and better each bloody time. I'm seeing a lot less movements around the crashes, a lot less posts around it. Either people are just getting used to the way that that process is now, or the crashes have slowed down a little bit. Please do communicate with me in the comment section below. Let me know how bad the crashes are for you, and if you're experiencing them still, or if your player base is as smooth as what mine has been over the most recent week or so. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today, though. If you haven't already, smash the like button and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. Appreciate your faces. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.